Five most mysterious Australian places. Uluru Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a massive sandstone rock formation in central Australia. A strange and mysterious place considered sacred to the Aboriginal people of Australia, the whole formation is riddled with caves, carvings and paintings. The indigenous Anagu people refuse to climb Uluru, citing a great spiritual significance in every path, crevice and cave. At least 35 people have died making the climb to the top, and the eeriness of the place haunts many tourists who travel there. Many travellers have taken rocks from Uluru as souvenirs, only to go on to suffer tragic accidents and horrible misfortunes. The repercussions of removing these sacred rocks have been so harsh that many go to great lengths to return them to the formation. It has been reported that since 1970 at least one sample of the cursed stones is returned every day by mail at the park ranger's office that oversees Uluru. Is there some type of Uluru curse? Or simply people's conscious getting the better of them? Burning Mountain Mount Wingen, commonly known as Burning Mountain, is a hill located in rural New South Wales. The hill is home to a burning coal seam fire that has been raging for over 15,000 years. Initially thought to have been volcanic in nature by local settlers, it wasn't until 1829 that a geologist identified it as a coal seam fire. How the fire first started is unknown, although many have speculated that it could have either been a lightning strike, a bushfire, or Aboriginal cave fires. The fire deep inside the ground can reach temperatures as high as 1,700 degrees Celsius, discolouring and distorting the ground topography around it. There are many similar underground coal fires around the world, although the Mount Wingen fire is considered to be one of the oldest and longest burning. Black Mountain Next on the list is another mountain. Black Mountain in the Kalkajara National Park just outside of Cooktown, Queensland. On the outskirts of a rainforest sit huge ominous black granite boulders some as big as houses and are seemingly stacked on top of each other haphazardly to form a mountain. A blue-green algae is responsible for the dark shade to the boulders adding a more creepy touch to the mountain's strange past full of mysterious disappearances. The Aborigines call this place the Mountain of Death and will not go near it for unknown reasons. Many people have vanished around the mountain as if swallowed by the many gaps and crevices and cave systems that weave in and around the many black boulders. Three men and their horses were the first victims Black Mountain claimed, never a trace of their remains ever to be found. Then, two more men, eager to solve the mysterious disappearances, entered the honeycomb of caves that riddled the area. Also, they too were never seen again. Two experienced black trackers were then sent to find them, but they too suffered the same fate. And many more disappearances plagued the mountain in the years to come. Are people just getting lost in the dark labyrinths, or could there be something much more mysterious going on? Devil's Pool not far from a Queensland town called Babinda is a waterhole surrounded by boulders that has an ominous history. The waterhole is the combination of three streams that intersect over boulders forming several small pools and water chutes. Fast flowing water through the crevices and a sudden 40 foot drop make the prospects of a hot afternoon swim a dangerous gamble. Despite this, thousands of locals, travellers and thrill seekers swim in the waters every year. State emergency service records show 20 people have died in the notorious waterhole since 1959, and perhaps many more unrecovered. Aboriginal dreaming stories say a vengeful spirit of a woman named Ulana haunts the waters. She had committed suicide in the waterhole after having her lover separated from her because he was from another tribe. She now is luring men to their deaths in search of her long lost lover. Extremely deep pools under waterfalls around the area make recovering bodies extremely difficult. It is often suggested many more victims lay under rocks and debris at the bottom of these pools. Pine Gap Pine Gap is an American base in the Australian outback, 
just outside of Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. Construction began on the base in 1960 and became fully operational in 1970. The facility is officially a ground satellite relay station and is run by the CIA, NSA and NRO. There are 14 ray domes that surround antennas visible on the surface. The facility continues underground but how far is unknown and some have even suggested it connects with large natural cabins fitted out for use. UFO activity around the base has been extensive, since even before the base's construction. Reports tell of UFOs emerging from camouflage doors and hillsides, as well as multicolored beams of light coming from the area. There are rumors that the huge underground infrastructure is powered by nuclear reactors, a violation of Australia's environmental protection legislation. In 2013, Edward Snowden released several documents proving Pine Gap, using the PRISM program, spy on Australians silently 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The base is also heavily involved in the US drone program, causing much controversy amongst residents. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and why not hit subscribe for more videos just like this.